Hey guys, it's Tori from Monogram Moments, and today I'm going to walk you through how to use this dry erase board that I got from Condi to put um, one of these fill-in-the-blanks boards. So if you go to my website, I have a few of that Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and back to school or last day of school. So I'm just going to do um, the first day of school. So you can go to my website, and I'll have all this linked below. And you just add to cart, and you will download. So once you have it downloaded, save it somewhere on an external hard drive, um, and then we're going to go ahead and open up Photoshop. So if you open, once you download that file, you'll see I've got quite a few um, sizes in here. So 8.5 by 11 if you want to print a piece of paper, and then 8 by 10, and then 8 by 10 with a little bit of extra padding around the edges so that you can make it a little bit larger. So I'm going to be using this one since I'm going to be subbing. So what I'm going to do is just hold this and bring it up to this bar up here and drop it. And then it's going to open this file for me. So my board from Condi, I measured and it is about 10.25 or 10.3 by 8 inches. So just to check the sizing of this, I'm going to go up here to image, image size. I'm going to change this to inches, and you'll see it's about 8.3 by 10.3. So I want this to be a little bit larger than my sublimation blank, just so it can hang over the edge and the whole entire blank will be covered. So that is good, both of these. It was 10.3, and this is 10.333, which is fine. And then the width was 8, and this is 8.3. So I'm happy with this. Now you could go ahead and print this right now, or if you wanted to add a name, you could do that. Okay, so this font I'm using is Cool Kids that I also got from my website, and I used the eyedropper tool to select the color of this flag. So you could really change it to any of these colors if you want it to match. I'll stick with the blue and select OK. And then if you wanted to take up more space since this is a shorter name, you can come over here to where it says VA and it has that arrow going across and you can move. I'm pressing the up arrow on my keyboard and just bump that button up and it makes the letters more spaced out without making them larger. So I'm happy with that. I am actually not going to print this with the name because I'm going to give this to two siblings. Um, so instead of it being dedicated to Levi for his first days of all his school grades, um, I'm going to let mama write the kid's name in here so she doesn't have to have two of these. So once I am ready, what I'm first going to do is go to File, Print. I'm going to change this to my inkjet, and you'll notice that my paper sizing is wrong, so I'm going to fix this. And I am going to go ahead and print on the borderless 8.5 by 11 and I'm going to select flip horizontally and click save. Okay so now we need to flip this over and there we go. Now if I wanted to I could move this around in here but I'm just going to leave it right in the center and actually before I print this on my Epson printer I am going to print this on my inkjet and I'm going to print it in black and white. That way it's going to allow me to look at it um, compared to my blank, make sure everything's going to fit, nothing important is going to hang off. So I'm just going to print um, in black and white. Media quality, I'm just going to select draft and I'm going to hit save and then print. Okay, so I've got my black and white copy and again this is just for me to check to make sure everything's going to line up. So I'll flip this board over, line it up with the paper, and a little bit is going to hang off. That's what we were shooting for, because it's going to help me line everything up. Okay, and this is what it's going to look like pressed. So um, nothing important is going to be cut off. My lines are going to go all the way to the end of my board. So I'm happy with how this looks. So now I'm going to print on my sublimation printer. Okay. Next thing, now that I'm ready with my sub print, I'm going to peel off this protective film. Again, this is the um, 
8 by 10.3 from Condi, and it is only one-sided. I don't believe they have a double-sided, so this is just one-sided. So I'm go going to peel off this uh, protective sheet. Okay, so I've got my design taped up, and you'll see that part of the design is hanging off of the edges, and that is okay. That's what we want. That's how we know that the, desi the design is going to go all the way from the left to right, top down. It's going to be completely covered. And the heat press tape that I use is just from Amazon, and you want to use that to secure it in place so that it doesn't ghost on you. Now, when you go to press this, you want to flip this over. Now, this is the design, and you want it touching the bottom of this top plate. The top plate is right here. The top plate is where that heat is, so you want the design touching the heat. If you were to press it like this, the design's at the bottom where there is no heat, and you'll get a very faint picture. So you'll put it right here. So once your design, or you've got everything ready to go, you'll put your first piece of butcher paper down, and then you'll set your design down, and then you can put another piece on top. And then I'm doing my heat press at 385 just because I know my heat press runs hotter than it says. Um, Condi again said to do it at 400 degrees. So if you know your heat press, go off uh, what you think is best for your heat press. And here it is. And if this does start to bow while it's still hot, you can put it underneath something heavy. And that's it, guys. So hopefully this video was helpful. If y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, please be sure to leave them below and I'll get back with you. All the links that I've used for this tutorial, I will also post in the description. And be sure to check out the website and also definitely join our Facebook group. Hope to see you there.